I love annoying, being back. How annoying was that? I really what the hell? I love being back. <laughs> it's really good to be back. Back streets back. What? Backstreet back Boys. Backstreet's yeah. back. All right. Sorry, that wait, wait. That wasn't an invitation to sing, Vanny. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> ah, there's the beer sound. That's it. This should be our motto, like the sound. <laughs> People will be so jealous of this podcast. Why do I always say podcast? I don't know because that's the your drill. Start. That's right. <laughs> We're not even drunk, man. There's no. So alcohol. welcome back, everyone. Yay! We never left. We've been living here for. <laughs> <laughs> We've been sitting in the same seat waiting for the week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what we do. We have some changes in somewhere there, over there. We did this beautiful art that we are surrounded with. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, look at that. So you he know what? Let's salute him. First of all, because I want to salute. So let's salute, salute him, guys. Salute. 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 And let's salute M, who gives us this place. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, do it on camera. Hi, guys. Look at this. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so cute <laughs> that is m and his artwork which you can see right behind right now behind lisa and francesca fantastic m.3 those black pieces are tough those black pieces look great it's art yep bro it's art it's in the making, it's in the really making. nice really that will nice. be something really nice <laughs> but it's m.3 on instagram guys you got to follow him emerge emerge Oh yeah, emerge. emerge. Holy shit! I only say it, it was every the week. kiss that got him all. It was, I'm all, I'm all my stuff. That first sip of beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a ban. Can you imagine it's after? Yeah. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> emerge dot three guys on Instagram. He's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye guys. Thank awesome. You. Bye. Bye. Bye Bambi. Top Bambi is not that's, M. That's not Bambi him. is not M. Just to let you guys know. <laughs> yeah. We're calling we him Bambi. We don't have a, a nickname. That's just pet name for M. We're not calling him Bambi. 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 <laughs> it would have been weird. How are we doing today, girls? We are doing fantastic. Oh, it's fantastic. It's uh, beautiful to be here with you all. Yes, with just the just nice. Lisa mm -hmm. and you guys there. Finally, you're there. back. Yeah. I'm we're back. back. You're back. We met, Well, you did You did a Sapurito. Yeah. So at least you were there. Well, did it was I? Only, it was only, yes, yeah, you, you did. did. From home. Your peppers. The peppers, the stuffed peppers. I still want you to make I, it and bring I, it here. Peppers, remember? I forgot. <laughs> You're like, first you make it the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> really? You have to bring it here next time. Yeah, yeah you were there. Right? I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I wasn't. It was very oh good. God. Oh my God, it was really good. I have to say. Oh, you ate it. Yes. yes. Oh my God. First hand, I have to say, I tried the saporito at a saporito, but I mean, a saporito. Yeah, it's a very a good. It was very oh good. my God. It's a very easy though, by the way. I love thing. stuffed peppers. Yeah. yeah. But let's not talk about that. Well, we have yeah, another, we we have already, another saporito today, don't we? Have don't we have another yes, one. We do. Yes. Amazing. We do. Yes, we do. Amazing. But first, we're going to be touching a bond. A bond. A bond. <laughs> Touching. Let's touch it. Oh, go, keep oh, going. You know, we have to have the vinyls, you know, the, the vinyls, the song. The, I touch myself. I, you ever hear that song? I touch could, uh, as a producer, I could change this whole podcast, change the format, and it could be a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> female touching episode no, I'm, just saying, I, I'm just saying I'm just saying let's do an episode twister do you guys twister, remember yeah. I love that game I always yeah. honestly I really I'm gonna buy drunk. it drunk it's so much fun drunk oh my god <laughs> you don't need to be drunk honestly I when think anything goes because everybody game, at the beginning goes. is so embarrassed <laughs> And then after, there's like kind of an orgy. Yeah. You know, like everybody touching everyone. Like it's crazy. It's, it's the uh, best game. So memorable. <laughs> wow. Okay. So what's our topic? Uh, the, our topic today is actually using the limbs. Whoa. It is something that you need your limbs for. And that would be soccer. So oh, this, soccer. This is, this is my topic. Soccer. And I guess Francesca. Well, more stuff, but uh, a, we share a passion. You're together. a Romanista. Yes. You're a Romanista that makes you the best right now. That's uh, I am the Lisa, best. do you have any idea about <laughs> a soccer team in Italy? Like, is there, did your dad go for a no, certain team? No, I don't think I no, no. know if the soccer team. I didn't mean it that way. Like, <laughs> did you, did, is, is there a family, a team that the family just Well, there's for? Juve. There's always Juve. Your, my oh, brother, no, no. my brother was always ac milan now it changed to inter okay so he's not a true soccer fan <laughs> if he changed no. he, he no. can't really watch no. soccer too much yes he yeah. doesn't, doesn't. i think he does it's you not know what? it's not even allowed to change like in generate like my son is not allowed to have a different team he had to be a romanista because i'm mm -hmm. a romanista my dad was a romanista mm -hmm. that's the law of the land so if you're yeah. going to change 
You're a sellout. Like you just, you're, I I'd love for him. you to say that to my brother standing right there. I'm going to call him and say, <laughs> dude, you just pretend that it's still AC Milan and always has been. I know. Well, he does. Uh, I mean, he did like AC Milan hard and then it changed to Inter at a certain point. There was like Juve in the mix. I don't mm. know if it was him or his friends. That actually, makes... Juve. It could have been his friend who liked Juve. It could have been Maybe. his friend, Mike. Could be. Yeah, I that makes. I don't know. And that, um, I share the passion with uh, so, with staff. So. And how big is is Lupa soccer Clot. in Italy? Oh, in Italy, it's uh, religion. It's like re- being religious. Probably people goes more to so- to uh, the stadio that uh, to the church. Than to church. Which yeah, in Italy sure. it's a big thing. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, and then I share the passion uh, for the AS Roma since uh, yes. the beginning of the time. But yes. I don't know. I have a scoop for you. But I think oh. I told you. Tell me. That my um. Il lo zio di mio padre. Yes, yes, Francesco Totti. Uh, no, Renato Sacerdoti was oh. president of the AS Roma for 10 years. Oh my God. Yeah. Right, right now was, my son I think is quivering. At the end, it was during the second world, so it was like between, at the end of the 30s up until the 40s for 10 years. So one of oh the first. Oh my God. My, my son is quivering hearing that. Right now he's <laughs> saying, oh my God, I need, <laughs> Francesco, take me, take me to Rome. I want to meet the team or whatever. He's, he, I, so I was always a diehard fan, and I still follow them. I don't have time to follow them like I used to. I used to watch every Sunday. If it was a Monday game, watch them in Champions League. Oh, really? I knew all the transfers. I knew, and then in the last you know, 10 years, I just can't keep up. But luckily, my son knows way more than I do really? right now. Yeah. Oh my God, he watches every game. He's mm, got... Uh, that's so cool. He knows yeah. every rumor. Oh, they're going to do this. They're buying this. And it's sad because we don't have a stadium in Rome. The team doesn't own a stadium. No. Which sucks, and they've been trying to do it since I, I was a fan, since I watched religiously. Yes. Mm. And the city doesn't want to give it. Anyway, it's a whole thing. But the culture, this is what we're, we're here yeah. to talk about. Yeah. The culture of soccer in Italy is, it's, it's the first yeah. religion. It really is the first religion. It's uh, Sundays are sacred. Um, it, 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 and, you know, there's also the bad in this, which there's a lot of... Um, drunkenness uh, and, yeah, and yeah. a lot of violence, violence that happened which is sad. That. but it's getting a lot better in Italy yeah it's the racism true. is getting a lot bigger but it is all passion based so yeah. it's, it's yeah because it becomes a religion so basically when you have uh, like this match against another mm-hmm. uh, another team uh, it's mm-hmm. like being in war so yeah. they're oh, you yeah, know yeah. they're diehard they're diehard yeah. oh it's a it's you it's, you're born and and like you're on the soccer field Oh, I think the the players are worshipped. That's what we were saying. Oh, they're yeah, like totally revered as more like, than worshipped, yeah. of course, yeah. they they emulate them, and that's what you want to do. I mean, when you think it, soccer, you don't think of any other country except Italy, right? So, well, Italy, Brazil, probably Brazil. strong. Yeah. Argentina, England is, is England is strong. England is strong. Super strong. Germany is strong too. too. Spain is very yeah. yeah. They all have mm. Germany. They're, it's France in, too, actually. Yeah, so yeah. they're good. I mean, Europe in general is really into soccer. When uh-huh. you see uh, when when so Napoli has a really good team my mom's side is napolitan mm. so i have members of the family and we argue you know we, we <laughs> bug each other uh but napoli for two years maradona came mm. and he you know how crazy is this but the team never won all of a sudden maradona comes the next season they win the scudetto two years in a row and he is revered this was back in the my god i'm gonna have to say 90s mm-hmm. 80s 80s Maradona was playing in 86. Yeah, so he was early 80s and they won the Scudetto. And today, if you say a bad word about Maradona in Naples, you're dead. You're a dead man. Like, Mm -hmm. he's still the God. They don't talk about any law that was changed. They talk about when Maradona was uh, uh, in Napoli playing soccer. And then he moved and they lost. They never won ever since. But actually, now they're good. So that's... Yeah, it depends on it. Well, I mean, I think everybody looks forward to the Euro Cup and the World Cup. When it Mm. is? When is it? I think it's coming up. up. It is coming up because they had uh, two years ago. They just had it. Yes, but they were behind the year. Yeah, because of the COVID, I think. Because of COVID, so yeah, it's every four years. It's every four years. Yeah. So when is gonna be? So let's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Lisa researched that. But if (laughs) I'm not mistaken, it's coming up next year. If I'm not mistaken, the Euro. No, it should be this year. I, th- I, th- I thought it 20- was this year. 
Oh yeah, it's on the it's yeah. always on the on the in the fours. Yeah, 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 exactly. I so think it is, it's it I is think it's be. this year coming. And now we're still in twenty twenty four. Yeah, twenty twenty four. Yeah, because yeah. it was supposed to be twenty and it ended up being twenty one. But then they postponed it from summer to winter because it was in uh, uh, in Qatar. But, yes. Um, so I mean. We, I'm not going to talk much on why Italy sucked in the past 10 years. Um, actually, the weird thing is they won the fucking Euro. Yes. They went undefeated for 30 games, but they won the Euro in between not making it to the World Cup twice. Yeah, it was so crazy. They didn't make it in the World Cup. They won the Euro. They didn't make it the next World Cup. Weird. We don't understand why. They say that it's fixed. No, no, I no, don't no, know no, how no, fixed no, 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 no. that. No, 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 I don't no, no. I, I, when you play San fucking Marino <laughs> and you can't score a goal, even though you hit 15 crossbars, you can't score a goal against San Marino. Half of the team are plumbers. The other half uh, fix televisions. You, you, you got to score. I know they should have won the game, but Italy being Italy, it, it was a. Uh, I don't know. I, they say unlucky, but it's not. I'm sorry. They shouldn't be in that position with the talent they have. They won Euro and then couldn't put enough points to qualify. They it's beat kind of 16 other amazing teams in Euro, which are yeah. the best teams in European mm. soccer, and then they couldn't beat San Marino. They tied San Marino to not make it into the into the World Cup. It's ridiculous. Anyway, we won't talk much about that, but it's big for us. And in 2024, on Kumbari, I can guarantee you, we will be talking about the World Cup and the Italian. Well, you know yeah. the host and country. And we will be at uh, Stefano's house. And you are <laughs> going to be it. watching at my so house. So you're invited. And uh, Lisa, you're going to be a Romanista from now on in. You oh, have yeah, no yeah, choice. Got it. Romani, es Roma, forza Roma, forza lupi. <laughs> Ti faccio portare, I'm going to ask my dad to bring you something now that is coming it's, from, uh, it's from Italy. Nice. Like bandana. <laughs> Just a funny, funny story. My, I ended up, when I went to Rome a couple of years ago, I stayed on Via del Corso mm. and we had a nice little place there. And it, as luck would have it, the humongous AS Roma store was like two doors down. So my son, when he saw that, he was shaking. He was like, oh, my God. We, we literally dropped our bags in the room, went straight to the store. 400 fucking euros later. Uh -huh, I'm like, but they sell the stuff in, in Canada. We can buy it back home. I have a friend that owns Evangelista huh. Sports. Maybe we can get a deal. He's like, no, but I'm buying it in Rome. I got to yeah, buy it in Rome. It's different. But it's it's different. not different. It's the same company that no, makes it. No, it's a different feel when you buy it in Italy. That I sure. also don't think the Evangelista has everything. Of course they do, yes. They have everything. everything. The same thing of the Rome store. Same thing. Comes from, uh, that's why the prices are expensive because. They didn't have the keychain I brought you, right? Oh, no, they don't have all of that stuff. But they have access. They ah, have, okay. They, they deal with the distributor. Ah, okay. In, so but they, they don't can... buy they don't buy everything for every team. They buy the most important yeah, to fill sense. their store, makes you know? Sense. So yes, the keychain I have, which is right. <laughs> I gotta show this. This is Questa qua viene dalla Roma and it's on my <laughs> Roma store and in I Via del think Corso. They're gonna win this year because I hold it in my hand every day. Just saying. <laughs> Francesca <laughs> from soccer. To food. To food. To food. Let's do our saporito. Well, we're before, in Italy anyway. Before we cut this licumbare, let's go from, yeah, it's soccer to food. This is a typical Sunday. There you go. Okay, boom. Hit it. Yes, so welcome to Saporito. This is my segment, which I uh, truly love and enjoy in doing it. So I wish I can also eat everything I'm talking about, but I cannot. <laughs> anyway, it's in my mind, so I hope it's going to be in your mind. So basically... Uh, what we are going to uh, what we're gonna do today we're gonna talk about chicken mm. so I feel like chicken tonight yeah. so this is a very rapid recipe that you can do literally in a second but you need to have chicken because basically it's chicken cacciatore mm. it's very easy and you need like a bo bocconcini you know little pieces of uh, chicken that you can buy possibly biological because sometimes you see like when you buy chicken and then you cook it and then you release all that water and then you see that it's uh, plumped by other things yeah. so you want to be healthy so get for the biological ones mm -hmm. so then what you have to do you just need a pan extra virgin olive oil you put garlic mm -hmm. then what you have to do you put 
onions too. Okay. And then you put basically everything, every herbs you have. Is it a, is it a whole chicken or like the, you do No, the little leg? pieces. Like okay, you take the breast and you cut it in little pieces. Not breast. Uh, there are, they sell little bocconcini ah, okay. there because the consistency is different. Yeah. Because this bre- the breast stays a little bit dry. But you want gotcha. the bocconcini that is more juicy, not by itself. Bocconcini. I'm yeah, you, you can find it here. Like uh, There's this uh, brand that I don't remember the name. Uh, in the biological section and you can buy already pieces of uh, oh, okay I think it's like this part here like la, la Chris la, yeah the, 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 la, la the cosha cap. yeah but a sobra <laughs> non sono go- I don't know how yeah. to, but it's very good so basically you keep it aside in the meantime you prepare the pan extra virgin olive oil aisle garlic uh, garlic uh, and onion sorry and then you add herbs so uh, like for example I usually I love herbs like rosemary mm-hmm. soj like sage, sage, sage yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Then I add uh, uh, three, four uh, tomato, like pacinos, put there. Mm-hmm. Then I add uh, erba cipollina. I don't know how you to call like okay. the one that you do. Yeah. And then uh, sometimes I add mint. Oh, nice. Sometimes okay. so I put the whatever mint. you feel. The more, okay. the more, the better. Okay. Uh, if you want extra flavor, you can add the alfedado. I don't know how you call dado. The cube that you use uh, to bouillon. give flavor. Bouillon. A bouillon. Cube. Exactly. Okay, Alpha of it. I usually add. Uh, I take the um, herbs one. The By the way, a bouillon mm. would be a broth, like a cube. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cube. the cube broth. Yeah, sometimes I put it there sure. just so for extra flavor. Then I let it kind of like uh, f- fry a bit, and then I put the the pieces of uh, chicken. of chicken on top of that, and I cover. And uh, at the beginning, I let it go because it's gonna release water anyways. Yeah. And then I turn on, on the more the, the flame, so it's going to absorb and it's gonna become like crocant, you know, like, uh, okay, nice. and it's gonna become super flavored. You can add also clearly salt and pepper. If you have pepperoncino, you actually, you don't put pepper, but you put little pieces of pepperoncino and becomes even spicy. Okay. And it's very easy, you just leave it there. And what do you, do you mix it with like, um, you have do you put it with pasta with rice is it something no. like that or just alone just meat and vegetable and yeah dish? just like chicken uh, the vegetable not even because it's just the way of flavoring the uh, the chicken so when you take it off you have all these things that you can eat of course yeah. but it's uh, it's just a, a second uh, how to say dish you know okay and then you can on the side you can do a puree Okay, uh, smash potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah, mash potatoes. No, smash. Yeah, the smash. How can I smash it? The famous mash the potatoes, or you can have it with rice if you want. Okay. But it's very uh, cacciatora, which means hunter. Uh, like it's uh, because it's really herbs based, you know? It's just okay. like a kind of pure way of doing it. Okay. It's just a, so, but it's very good, then it becomes a really. Um, uh, mild and tender, so it's really good. Really? I, it, it's that very easy really to do. Good. Everybody can do it as long as you have chicken. Is it easy enough to bring to a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can actually do it. It's becoming. It's gonna be a bit cold, though. I mean, I'm just. Do I just make suggestions. The, uh, I make suggestions have, to make it better. I think here, we have a microwave. Know? If you have a microwave, I can bring it. I will buy a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, I'm gonna cook it this weekend probably because <gasps> now. See? Oh. That's amazing. Because this is good this in winter, but even in uh, summer because it's light. It's not that heavy. There's nothing more besides extra virgin olive oil. Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. Okay, now that I'm hungry, and it's a good thing I already ate. But now that I'm hungry, so the next time I come over, you come over to my house and make it. There, there you, you go. go. There you go. There you go. I will tell you how it is, man. <laughs> you let me know. I'll, uh, sure. I'll have a beer to that, okay? <laughs> I, I, why not? Why not? So, my God, I'm so hungry. So, maybe we should leave now yes. and yes. go and make and it. Go. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so guys. guys. <laughs> ah, say that again in stereo. Three, two, one. Guys. I love it. <laughs> so Thank you. <laughs> yet another episode of. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yet another episode of Li Kumbare is in the books. Off to you. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. <laughs> and thank you. Thank Have you. some kitchen, kitchen chakatore. <laughs> Chicken cacciatore. Chicken yeah, cacciatore. that's right. Like, Nobody drank here. On, oh, on our podcast. On our, our podcast. podcast. <laughs> yes. Stay tuned. Guys, every whatever. Sunday. Every Sunday on Watch Nicole the Mar- soccer team. Here. Yes. And then the eat. Romanista. And so eat your chicken while watching the soccer and then have a beer. Wash it all down. Rooting for Rome. There Love you it. go. Love if it. you don't, then you're going to. We're going to come your place. We're, gonna, we're already there. 
but we're going to come and haunt you even more. Yeah. Alla salute. Ciao. 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 Bye.